What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on LCID stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this uh, very point uh, when we uh, broke or basically bounced from this range of support. And my main assumption was that probably we should land a bit lower because we don't have uh, major news. We didn't have uh, major news uh, from uh, the company itself. And that's why we could rely only on the general sentiment of the market. And the sentiment of the market uh, was quite bearish. And uh, in my technical analysis, I will show you why I think so. And uh, right now, as you can see, uh, we have uh, this movement to the downside. We test the range of about uh, $12.18 and uh, my price target was set uh, on uh, roughly $12 mark. And I have to say that uh, we bounce to the upside, retest this range uh, from the bottom as the range of resistance. And I can adjust this to, to make it uh, more precise. As you can see, we bounce to the upside, broke it, then retest and uh, retest it and uh, went lower. So what should we expect next? I will show you in just uh, several minutes. And for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. I have to say that uh, on official uh, Lucid Motors website, we don't have uh, any news uh, in the press release section or in news section that might drive uh, the price of uh, Lucid either way. We don't have uh, any news uh, on their official Twitter page. We have just uh, several tweets uh, uh, about their uh, common activity, but uh, nothing more that uh, might be a catalyst. And uh, that's why this asset uh, follows the SPY index. And let me show you right here that uh, it follows uh, SPY index uh, pretty good. And previously I've told you that uh, if uh, SPY will break uh, this uh, range of support at uh, $357.17. Probably we might see next leg uh, to the downside for entire market. And uh, this means uh, all of the stocks of unprofitable companies uh, will go lower. And right now, as you can see, we are exactly at this range. And that's why we have to be very cautious because sentiment uh, on the market is quite bearish right now. But if you want to invest in this asset, you have to find your own catalysts. And uh, first of all, let me show you that this uh, company is still growing and definitely it is a very good sign. Uh, previously, just uh, four days ago, I guess uh, uh, this uh, company had uh, uh, 4,398 employees on LinkedIn. And right now they added uh, about 15 employees uh, to this list. Definitely they are growing and uh, this is the first good sign. Second one, let me show you this article. Uh, we are on motlyfull.com and uh, it was uh, this article was published on October the 10th and it's titled Three electric vehicle stocks down 78 to 80% that billionaires can't stop buying. And the key points are following. The global electric vehicle EV market uh, is expected to grow by an annualized rate of 24% uh, through 2028. A few billionaire investors are using the bear market decline as an opportunity to pile into three popular EV stocks. One of these three EV companies offers more upside than its peers. And uh, these companies are following. It is uh, Rivian. Next one is Lucid Group. And uh, the third one is Neo. And uh, let me uh, pay your attention right now on Lucid Group only. And uh, right here you can see that despite a 78% decline from its all-time intraday high, billionaire Philip Lafont uh, of Cotu Management has been uh, a persistent buyer. During the second quarter, Lafont's fund more than uh, uh, doubled its existing stake in Lucid by purchasing nearly 4.47 million shares. And definitely, uh, this, uh, this company, from the fundamental standpoint, is uh, very stable because they have enough cash to burn. They have more than uh, $4.6 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and investments. And uh, definitely, it is more than enough uh, to operate uh, till the end of uh, 2023. 
On top of that, they will launch uh, their new vehicle in uh, 2024, and it will be the SUV Lucid Gravity. On top of that, they will disclose uh, more information uh, by 2025 in terms of its uh, mass market uh, vehicle. And uh, definitely, if everything uh, happens uh, as uh, they stated, uh, this company might uh, bring a lot of power to entire EV market. And uh, this means this uh, type of, uh, this uh, low prices for this uh, asset is a very good opportunity to enter your long-term uh, investment position. And uh, let me show you another quite interesting detail. Right here on list of institutional investors, you can see a lot of uh, investors that are adding their position or closing their positions. And let me show you uh, this uh, chart. Uh, it is uh, the institutional ownership in general in this company and the green bars represent uh, the uh, number of shares uh, that were bought by institutionals and the black line represents the price uh, of this asset. And as you can see, we have a consistent, basically, pretty much consistent level of uh, this ownership. And let me show you why we have it. At this uh, line, we have a public investment fund. It is a uh, Saudi Arabian fund that owns the majority of uh, uh, Lucid. And right here, they disclosed uh, that they hold uh, the same number of shares that uh, they held previously. And uh, definitely, uh, for now, they uh, have uh, about 32% losses, so-called losses, during uh, the last quarter. But uh, technically, they invested into this company when it was a SPOC merger, before this SPOC merger. And that's why their average price uh, is about uh, $10. And uh, right now, they are 20% up for their investment. And definitely, this fund will not sell uh, these stocks, uh, I guess, uh, in the foreseeable future. Because they have a very uh, huge uh, plans uh, to open new plant in Saudi Arabia and uh, to make uh, these vehicles uh, one of the best vehicles uh, in the luxury segment uh, for EV makers. And that's why I have to say that uh, in the long-term perspective, despite all the problems that uh, LCID, that Lucid basically faces uh, from time to time, this asset is still a very lucrative fundamentally. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, uh, let me show you the uh, smaller picture. And right here, as you can see, as I already mentioned, we have uh, this retest of uh, the range of uh, resistance and uh, we went a bit lower and i have to say that uh, according to elliot wave perspective probably we might have uh, this as our internal five wave structure this is the first wave second third fourth and fifth and if it is the case uh, on a slightly bigger scale we might have this is our first wave second this entire wave is the third one fourth and uh, probably we might even hit some higher targets and uh, uh, then we should land a bit lower to complete uh, this structure and uh, this uh, range uh, might be as a double bottom pattern with a truncated fifth wave or we might see some extension and uh, for now it is very difficult to make this assumption. So, what should we expect next uh, from the technical standpoint? If uh, you want to invest in this asset, uh, your approach is still the same. You can buy this stock on every daily red candle. But if you want to catch the trade and if you want to open your long position on this asset, uh, you uh, can accumulate your position right here with the tight stop loss slightly below this bottom. Because if this asset breaks uh, this range of $12.22, it will be about 4% of potential losses, but it will prevent your capital from uh, much bigger losses if this asset breaks this range. And uh, the upside potential for this uh, asset, uh, in my opinion, for now, is not so high in terms of uh, next uh, several uh, couple of weeks, basically, because uh, we have to see more evidence uh, that uh, we have higher lows and higher highs in order to establish a, a beginning of new uptrend. That's why I don't suggest uh, you to enter your long uh, swing trade long position. Just accumulate if you want to invest in this company. So. I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in the
this life gone, live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up